Now, at least 5,000 jobs have been lost in the UK theatre industry because of the coronavirus pandemic. 2,000 have been lost in the last month alone and since the government announced a £1.57 billion rescue package for the arts. Uh, the union, Bektu, who collated the figures, warned there's also tens of thousands of freelance theatre workers with little or no work. Well, joining us now is Philippa Childs, head of Bektu, who represent workers in the media and entertainment industries. Philippa, very good evening. Good um, evening, Ian. I, I guess it's not a surprise that there have been job losses, but I suppose people will ask, well, what, what is this £1.57 billion being used for? Well, exactly that. I mean, I, I think I spoke to you actually a few weeks ago you and did. we talked about the need for an urgent uh, recovery package for theatres and live events. And I was very pleased when the government made the announcement uh, that they did. I think it's about a month ago now. But the reality is that none of that money has yet reached theatres and it's not likely to reach them uh, from the detail that was revealed last week until at least October, by which time, of course, the job retention scheme will have been phased out and it's really that crucial fact that is causing the redundancies and the layoffs at the moment. So what can be done about it? I mean, it, it, there's, a, there's a certain degree of inevitability about this, isn't there? Um, but what, what would you want to see happen? Well, um, either we would like to see the money get to theatres more quickly or uh, preferably uh, uh, for the government to accept that for some sectors it's just not the right time to be phasing out the job re retention scheme. And so we'd like to see uh, the government say that in, in theatres the employers aren't expected to contribute to that over the next three months because, quite frankly, they're, they're not getting any income from um, uh, ticket sales and so they simply can't afford to... Uh, um, contribute to the furlough and that's why people are losing their jobs. The trouble is though there are lots of sectors that have very good cases for exactly the same kind of help that you, you've just outlined there. There will be a lot of people that say well hang on a minute 1.57 billion uh, that's not being given to every every different sector that's the money that should be used in, in, for this. Yes, in which case the money has to be uh, distributed much more quickly. I mean, we're hearing lots of concerns from theatres who are saying, looking at the criteria, they're not sure that they're going to qualify for a grant. Uh, they may have, uh, they may be able to get a loan, uh, but but even then, that's not 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 clear. And until they've got some clarity about whether or not they're getting any money at all, they're simply not prepared to pause uh, redundant, redundancy consultation. And that's sort of understandable in a way, isn't it? Because They've got no clear sight of when they might be able to uh, return to normal in terms of uh, putting shows on. So they've got no uh, clarity about when they're going to be able to sell tickets and get some income. Mm. So it's a real uh, combination of factors that is causing uh, such a crisis for theatres at the moment. And I think the important thing to remember about this sector is how much it brings to the UK economy. Um, and we want to make sure that our fantastic creative industries are there for the future uh, as we start to re build the economy. Okay, thank you very much indeed. That is that was Philippa Charles from the Union Back to